So this young lady, she's a frequent flyer. She's well known to the team and she gets a different problem every month for me. And she's turned up with a new lesion, which we think is a ganglion. So she said, Ian, can you aspirate this? Um, because we love seeing her. We're delighted to help. So we're going to aspirate. We, we've got quite a size of a lesion. So we're going to use, um, ideally, we'd use a 20 mil syringe and a white needle. But because we're having an NHS day, Corin, we've got a 10 mil syringe and a green needle, which is nearly as good. If I was charging you, it would be a problem. So Corin, scratch. Three, two, one, scratch. Oh, don't pull a face. That's what happened to me. I used to be good looking, you know. <laughs> so quite often you won't get anything out. It's just starting to come. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to come out. Listen to this. Do you hear that little pop? Yeah. So that's the vacuum you get in the syringe. Now, one of the things that sometimes helps, Corin, I'm just going to give you another second little scratch, is sometimes that will just break the seal. There's a tiny little bit just in the end of the syringe. You might just find that come out in a sec. You see that coming out there, Corin? So there's our ganglionic fluid. So I'm just going to go in through that hole again. Having broken the seal, sometimes that makes a difference. It means we can get a bit of back pressure on it. It's kind of goopy. Yeah, it's not really wanting to know. It's really quite thick. So again, we've got some in the needle. Just starting to come out. You, I can just see it in the needle at this end. And a little bit underwhelming there. So this we can, if we're in any doubt, we can send this for histoanalysis. I'm just going to take this needle out. And then let's see if we can just milk this a little bit. The answer is no. So we're going to give Corin just a little local anaesthetic because it was just a little sore. So Corin scratch. So just unusually, normally if you could, I say to patients, there's no point giving you an injection to give you an injection, but because that was just a little bit sore, because the fluid actually for you is actually really quite viscous. So it just wasn't wanted to come out, even with a little bit of persuasion. So we'll give that a minute to work. How are we doing there? Any numbers? Cool. Well, we'll find out in a moment. That's okay. So that's quite viscous, actually, Corin. That's really quite viscous for a ganglion. Well, pimple popper, so Dr. Sandra Lee, she's awesome. Yeah. OK, so that's it aspirated nicely. So we'll put a little plaster on. So you need to keep that covered yeah. just while you've got a couple of little little holes now that's likely to refill so we might need to have a conversation about doing something with that what i can do with that video i don't know i'll need to see if i can edit it out and make you look like i've not been really mean to you <laughs> so always have a plan b and a plan c plan a was aspiration plan b was breaking the vacuum and plan c was doing a stab incision and doing more of a manual extraction necessary in this case because the fluid was, was really quite turgid and thick We'll see you coming back in six weeks' time. If it refills and carries on being symptomatic, we would schedule it for surgical excision. Thanks for watching.